Welcome to Standards Map, a partnership-based effort to enhance access to information on private standards and to increase opportunities for sustainable production and trade. This short video reviews some of the key functionalities and navigation features of Standards Map. Before using the website, we recommend that users watch the video which explores the types of standards encompassed in Standards Map. This introduction video is available here on the homepage. In addition to this video, users can find support material on the Standards Map horizontal navigation bar. Under the Standard View header, users can access summary sheets for each standard system included in Standards Map. Under the Reference Material header, users can review Standards Map's information sources and date availability, access some capacity building material, and the Standards Map User Guide, among other relevant information. The next headers, Glossary and Frequently Asked Questions, or FAQ, provide additional reference material to help users better understand private standards and their purpose. Finally, should users have any questions, they can send the T4SD team a message using the online form under the Contact Us header. Going back to the home page, users can enter the Standards Map website by entering a valid username and or password in the authentication box and clicking on Login. If users do not have a valid account, they can click here to create one. Following the entry of a valid username and password, users are directed to the main selection menu of Standards Map where they can begin their standard search. This search process is broken down into four steps. In step one, users select their research parameters. In step two, a list of corresponding standard systems, research papers and maps is generated. In step three, users refine their search and step 4 displays the search results. Step 1 is broken down into three sections. Under section 1, a progress bar indicates where users are in the search process. This navigation bar is visible throughout the four steps. Under section 2, users select the category of standards to be reviewed. By default, the product or industry standard category is selected. For more information on each category, users can scroll over the blue information icon. An explanation then appears in a pop-up window. Under Section 3, users select one of the two selection methods. The first search method, by product and or country, is selected by default. Users first need to identify themselves as exporters or importers. If export is selected, Standards Map returns standard systems which certify and or verify the product and or service. If import is selected, the website returns those standard systems whose certified or verified products or services are retailed in that country. Please note that when you select import, you cannot select a product. The second search method, by standard, enables users to select the standard systems classified under one of the two standard categories. Once search parameters have been selected, users can proceed to step 2 by clicking on Next Step. Step 2 returns standards, research papers and maps based on the combination of search parameters selected under Step 1. Information returned is broken down under three tabs. The first tab presents the standards according to the search parameters selected under Step 1. The second tab returns research papers which focus on the product and or country under review and related standards. By scrolling over the title of the research, users can view a short summary abstract compiled by ITC displayed in a pop-up window. Users can use a filtering option to review specific types of publications or focus on specific topics. Furthermore, users can access detailed information on each article by clicking on the More Information button. The third tab, Maps, displays the geographical scope of standards. 
First, users need to select a standard system under the first drop-down menu, Standard. Then, users need to select whether they wish to review the scope for all products or a specific product. By selecting to review all products, three sets of maps can be generated using the third drop-down named Scope. First, by selecting Actual, users can view a map which displays where certification and or verification currently takes place for the standard selected in the first drop-down. Second, by selecting Possible, users can review the countries where certification and or verification currently does not take place but where certification bodies recognized by the standard system could provide certification and or verification services. Third, by selecting retailing and or selling, users can view the countries where the product or services are sold. Alternatively, if users select a specific product from the product drop-down, by default, standard map generates a map where actual certification and or verification takes place for this specific product and standard system. To proceed with steps 3 and 4 of the search, users need to go back to the standards tab. Here, users can see an overview of each standard system by clicking on the drop-down menu Show Overview. By clicking on the At a Glance PDF link, users can access the summary sheets for the respective standard. Users can select the standards they wish to analyze by checking and unchecking the selection boxes in front of each standard system. To proceed to step 3, users need to click on the Next Step button. Under step 3, users can refine their search criteria in different ways. This can be done selecting preset queries or manually constructing queries using the Advanced Search and the Keyword Search modules. Preset queries include criteria grouped under various topics or themes. Users should be aware that generating preset queries under Step 4 can take a bit of time, especially if their internet connection is very slow. To review info on a specific topic, users can either select a preset and refine it through the advanced search by clicking on the bottom Refine Selected preset, preset in Advanced Search or directly jump to Step 4 to view results by clicking on Show Results. Users can also go to the Advanced Search module without selecting a preset query by clicking on the Advanced Search module tab. The Advanced Search provides users with much more flexibility to generate queries by enabling the selection of all criteria included in the database across cross-cutting topics. Criteria under the Advanced Search module are organized under five headings Overview, Scope, Requirements, Governance and Verification Certification. Users can review the information included under each of these headings by clicking and viewing the Overview file. Users can review the criteria to be selected under a heading or subheading by clicking on the heading name. To select a criterion, users have to click on the tick off box located next to the criterion under review. If users cannot find a particular criterion, they can use the keyword search by clicking on the keyword search tab. To find a criterion, Users type in a word in the keyword search box and click on the enter key or they can click on the magnifying glass icon shown here. If a criterion within the database contains the word typed in the keyword search box, the system returns all relevant criteria beneath the keyword search box. Users can select the one of interest by clicking on the tick-off box located next to it. 
Users can then go back to the advanced search if they wish to review where in the database structure this particular criterion was located in the database architecture. Following the selection of criteria under either of the three tabs, users need to click on Generate Results to proceed. Step 4 displays results pertaining to two standard systems at a time. If the initial query included more than two standards, users can review data returned for other standards using the left and right arrows. Users can lock one standard system by clicking on the padlock icon shown here and compare results against other standard systems by clicking the next button shown here. Alternatively, users can review information for multiple standard systems by exporting the results of step 4 in Excel. To do so, users can click on the Excel button shown here. Users can review the definition of criteria by scrolling over the blue icon on the right-hand side criteria column. To modify their search, users can go back to steps 1, 2 and 3 at any time by either clicking on the relevant step in the progress bar or by directly editing the information included under one of those steps. For instance, from step 4, users can edit their search criteria by clicking here. From step 4, users can edit their selection of standards to be reviewed by clicking here. We hope this tutorial has been helpful. Thank you for your attention.